Hi everybody, this is Mary Ann from the Bull County Public Library, Shepherdsville Branch um, Central Library. I've designed this month's April Craft Takeout Project and I called it the Air Plant Macrame. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cute little macrame hanger. From your kit, you'll need the ring, four long pieces of cord, and later you'll use the shorter pieces of cord. So let's get started. The first knot you're going to make is called the lark's head knot. And you'll need the ring, and you're going to fold each cord in half and place the loop end through the ring. And then bring the loop back around and under and pull the two cords through the loop. Alright, so just created a loop. Easy. And just adjust it, tighten it a little bit, and adjust it. And now you're going to do the same with the other three long cords. Fold it in half, put that loop down through, pull the long cords through the loop. Tighten and adjust it. This macrame project requires eight cords, so that's why you're um, you're doing putting these together right now. If you didn't get a craft takeout kit and you don't have the supplies or the supply list, the four longer cords are 54 inches and the short cord we'll use later is between 12 and 15 inches long. Once you have the lark's head not finished, all four of them, you're going to set yourself up on your workspace, either flat on a table or hanging from a hook. One of the most common uh, macrame knots is the square knot, and you're actually going to create a series of square knots in what's called the alternating square knot pattern. Divide your eight cords in half, and we'll work with the four on the right first. You can divide those. Now we have a left cord, two anchor cords in the middle, and a right cord. All right, so you bring the right cord over both the anchor cords and under the left cord. And then you're going to bring that left cord under those anchors and through the loop formed by the right. Now you just tighten up the slack, adjust it a little bit, and you have the first half of your knot. You're going to do the opposite with the left cord. Bring the left over the anchor and under the right cord. Bring the right cord under the anchor cords and through the loop formed by the left cords. There you go. There's your first one. Now you need to do it seven more times. So you go on the left side's four corners, divide them into working cords and anchor cords, and create another square knot. Going under through that loop. There you go. Tighten. Adjust it. And now you can do that opposite. Left over the anchors, under the right, right under the anchors, through the loop. Now you're going to use the middle cords. The two in the middle are your two anchor cords, and then the next two are your left and right working cords. And you're going to create a square knot now with those four. You can take the right, take them over the anchors, under the left, and then the left, under the anchors, through the loop. And then the opposite. Pull that and tighten. Square knot is one of the very, very basic knots in uh, macrame, and actually a half square knot if you just did uh, just that half, um, just this part, just that half. If you just kept doing that down your anchor cords, you'd have a nice twisting knot that's used quite often in macrame. But when you do the opposite, then you've created a square knot over on the other side, just alternate back and forth, uh, right to left and in the middle. Do it one more time when we're set. For the video, I used the suction hook that uh, we provided taped to my desk. Um, 
but a lot of people like to macrame with the project hanging. Um, I've done quite a few. If you have uh, a longer project like a plant hanger or a wall hanging, it would be, it's a little bit easier if it's hanging um, from a hook. But you, know, you just have to practice a few knots and see what is most comfortable for you. So my, my last two um, square knots here. Under and through that loop, we'll tight hold. And here's the last one. And Oops. I messed up. Everybody does it. It's very easy to start again. Take out, if you don't like the way something is, uh, something looks, maybe it's too tight, maybe it's too loose, just go back and take everything out and do it again. It's easy. All right. So now you're finished with the alternating square knots. And now we're going to leave some space before we put in an overhand knot. Okay, I suggest measuring down uh, three or four inches. Well, first of all, I, you're going to pair them out. See, the two in the middle are a pair, and you can see those three pairs in the middle. The two on the sides are going to be tied in, uh, together in the back later at last step. So I measure down about three or four inches or so, and I'm marking my spot where I want the uh, knot with my left fingers. And I form a loop and pass the end of the strings down through that loop and tighten and adjust it to where I want it. Okay, that's an overhand knot. I'm going to do it with the next pair in the center. I mark it with my fingers, loop it around, and bring the ends down through. And I want to make these overhand knots as even as possible um, in my hanger. That was pretty good. I like that. Mark it with the next one, mark it with my fingers. Pull it down through. And again, I'm going to try to make everything as even as I can. Now these two on the side, the left and the right, those are going to, I'm going to take them and I'm going to see underneath and sort of tie them in the back. Let's just say that. Mark with the fingers, pull up through and see if I can get everything all nice and lined up. And now we're getting ready for the last step, the gathering knot or the wrap knot. You're going to arrange the cords and hold tightly where you want the wrap to go. And now you take your wrapping cord, that shorter cord, and you're going to uh, a little bit higher, uh, put the cord a little bit higher than when you where you want it. See the little tail is a little bit higher than where my fingers are. And I loop it around. I got that tail up above and the loop down below. I'm going to take the rest of the cord and I'm going to start wrapping it around all the cords. Right, where, right at the top of my fingers. There's one wrap. There's the next wrap. There's three. There's my little loop down below and my tail up above. There's four. And I counted them and I decided to do one more, so five. Now I bring the, bring the string around. I'm going to go bring that string through that little loop, pull it really tight and get it nicely arranged so that's a nice wrap. Um, yeah, so my rope, my cord is nicely wrapped and I'm going to pull really tautly, tautly on the tail. <laughs> there we go. And it's a nice strong knot. I'm going to snip off that uh, upper tail and the, the other end just becomes part of the hanger. So oh, how did you do? We learned four knots. We macrameed four knots, a lark head, square, overhand, and wrap knot. And you can trim off those bottom strings, long or short, however you want. Now let's look at the whole craft project together. I cut out small squares for everyone out of discarded books. I took the front and back covers off and cut them with my bandsaw. And I it, now insert your square into the hanger. You can see that sometimes the overhand knots are above the square. And sometimes they're below, it doesn't make a difference. The difference uh, is determined by the distance you kept between your knots. Your air plant should fit into your seashell, and if it doesn't, you just want, might want to just set the two of them together there. Here's another hanger I made the other day, and you can see there are differences, but really, it doesn't matter. Each of them are really so cute. Well,
Well, I hope you enjoyed this month's craft takeout. Let us know about your successes, yeah, even your fails. Send us a picture or stop in and tell us about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.